back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely time because today is Valentine's Day. It's all about love, love, love. And I'm sure most of you guys have been spoiled, pampered by your special someone, whatever that may be, whoever that may be. As you can see, I am wearing, especially for you guys, this heart shirt just for you as it is Valentine's Day. Okay, in today's video, I will be showing you or I'm going to give you some tips on how to spot a real MCM because it is very difficult on how to spot a real love and I won't even dare suggest or advise you on how to spot a real love but because with the luxury items, I can give you advice on that one. Disclaimer, I'm not an expert. I won't say I'm an expert on MCM. But because I have more than a handful of MCM bags or even some of their accessories, I've learned a few things or two, what to look, how to spot the real one and the not real one. Because I do not want you guys to be disappointed in case you're planning to purchase for your first luxury items an MCM bag. Okay, let's get started. So, in some of you that have seen my video, I did do a few videos of my MCM bag. Let's do a little bit of a history again. So, MCM stands for Michael Cromer Munich. He founded a company in 1976 in Munich, Germany. But in 2005, he sold it to a Korean company. Okay, so this is their famous logo and it comes with a white dust bag with black print I've never seen any other color that they've used when it comes to dust bag right so you can see how sharp the name MCM on top of that this logo I can never remember what you call it I just call it leaves yeah it's a bit like those Roman thing isn't it please Put a comment down below if you know what it's called, right? Okay, let me move it a little bit closer so we can do the counting. On my right, your left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can see there's nine petals. On the left side, your right, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see straight away. The difference on the right it's nine on the left it's eight okay the dust pack is 100% cotton this is their famous collar it's a cognac collar and it's in Bisetos leather right all the MCM bag will have what you call a logo plate like a base plate kind of thing right it is mine one it is I've never seen anyone actually on silver yet this is like a gold bronzy looking hardware okay so the square bit the logo plate let me focus it let me see how can i focus that a little bit for you guys to see it okay i hope you can see it right i will insert some pictures so you can see it at the very end of the video if you're having difficulty in spotting it because I am having difficulty in focusing it with you guys as well. But just trust me, okay? So on the top, you will see the MCM logo and that leaves. In the middle, you will see the letter R. And then underneath it, you will read the words written there. Munchen and then the serial number, okay? That's standard. All their base plate will have the same thing. Then on each of the side, they have a screw. It is a flat head screw. Since I'm using this uh, screwdriver, and you can unscrew those four screws. I'm not going to do that for you today because it's a little bit hard for me to kind of like unscrew and show it to you. But trust me, all real one, it is, you can unscrew the screw. If it's a fake one that you can't screw, it means that they just glue this flake. All right. The other thing to look at in the middle, all the plate, 
will always be positioned in the middle of the bag whatever type of bag you have so this one it's a bucket bag and this one it's the berlin bag and this one i haven't done a video of it yet this is my hobo it's also in the middle and you can see on my previous one of my duffel bag again it is in the middle all right another thing to look at as well is when you see this probably a little bit better because it's quite big right so the screw as i mentioned earlier on it's all four of them and the row pointed towards the middle it's like that yeah so you can see this in my big in berlin one the screw is quite big so this is really good so you can see it's all pointing there the direction of the line where you put the screw yeah where you unscrew it is all pointing in the middle towards the middle of the bag and this one towards the middle of the plate that's another thing for you to check out too if the screw is not pointing in the middle then it's fake and obviously maybe it's another thing you check always just check maybe the owner unscrew it before and it just didn't align it properly but it is a hundred percent has to be in the middle okay another thing the zipper most of the luxury brand their zipper are made of ykk but if your one is not ykk don't be alarmed there's only like a one percent that they didn't use ykk but it doesn't necessarily mean yours is fake okay another thing a lot of their hardware will always have a mcm mcm they're like they're crazy with the stamping of mcm one thing also to look is if your bag have been produced in um 2005 they will have an additional tag inside the bag because before 2005 they don't they will probably have a some sort of hologram or something or they won't have anything they will just have one serial number so let me show you this one so this one has been made after 2005 so inside you will see a tag like this it's like a white tag there you go and in the tag it will tell you the mcm on both sides one is just the name the other side will be an mcm and then the leaves and then some numbering on it and then it will say made in korea because i mentioned earlier on it's been bought by a korean firm all right and even on their little zipper you can see there's also logo in there as well so they're like logo crazy on their handle on their strap again they will always have some somehow a little logo there as well that says mcm and even on their like clip you can see also mcm right if you bought your bag brand new it will come with a card like our authenticity card if you call it the color of the paper this envelope it's like a matte like a very very matte black and it has a very shiny well engraved mcm the logo and then underneath it's actually written um one year limited warranty yeah one year limited warranty that's what's written in all of that and then inside you will obviously have all those care cards and other bits and pieces that goes with it right okay so that is basically what to look out in the mcm bag so if <coughs> excuse me so if all of those things are not in your bag don't be alarmed say example when i mentioned to you that the zipper there isn't says that ykk not to worry if you can see that it is you can unscrew the screw then it is real and the logo and the sign and the counting of the leaves and then rest assured yours is a real deal 
Another thing as well, when you're buying or if you want to buy uh, an MCM bag, buy it in a in the store. So you can buy it in here in UK, you can buy it in Harrods, you can buy it in Selfridges, and also MCM sells in outlet places. So here you can go to Bister Village. They they have an outlet there for MCM. The only downfall though, you will never gonna get the the latest one. If you're uh, MCM enthusiast, a bit like me, uh, you will have to go to the main big store for you to get the latest design that you want. Okay, you can buy the MCM on a free love market. So there's Parpech, there's uh, Real Rio, there is some designer places that you can buy as long as you have all those th things that i've shown you and then you can check it when you purchase it i'm sure most of the uh, pre-love market you can return uh return it if it's not to your satisfaction there you go i hope you've learned a thing or two about mcm and if you do please consider subscribing to my channel i upload video every sunday i mainly talk about luxury items vintage bags or feel free to comment and suggest whatever items that you want me to show on my YouTube. And don't forget to press the bell so you will be notified. And give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching. It's bye for now and keep smiling.